I think it emerges as a question for me. That is, uh, is the resistance offered, uh, I tell you resistance is offered, by the suspect uh, sufficient to warrant the action taken by the officer of control? There are a lot of factors that go into that. I don't know what was exchanged between the officer and the suspect verbally that's not present on the video. I don't know if a, uh, a gesture of compliance actually uh, could be, in fact, a gesture of defiance. All those things need to be thoroughly analyzed, but based upon what I saw, uh, my uh, professional uh, discernment and judgment told me that this might be a case where uh, the use of force was potentially excessive. Two more questions. Could you, could you answer that again from the bottom line, what you said? Well, your biggest concern in looking at was that the use of force may not be uh, appropriate for the scenario of arresting an individual based upon what I saw as his actions. Was this young man in complete you all the time? I'm sorry, from the, from the time from the time that it's assaulted the officers, the officers. Was this particular young man in eyesight view of the officers at all times? I don't know that. What can you tell us about the young man? Uh, he, was, he was booked in what? Investigation of? Uh, I was informed, and it appears in the investigative file, that he was uh, booked for investigation of uh, robbery and assault, and I believe he has been charged with those uh, crimes by the King County Prosecutor. Probably something I have to verify with that. You called this case a, an open, uh, under investigation. Does that mean a criminal investigation has to be started? That's one of the things we're going to have to be uh, decided and uh, fairly soon, uh, based upon, again, a more complete evaluation of available evidence. We have. We are open to the potential and necessity to look at this from a criminal referral standpoint. Uh, that decision has not been made at this time. Uh, again, we need a lot more information and evaluate a lot more evidence before we make that step, but we're clearly uh, prepared to do that if necessary. Another series of videotapes that, you know, potentially damaging to the department and law enforcement and the I think we have to grow up a little bit and recognize that we are in a video age. Nothing an officer does goes unnoticed. Uh, I think uh, our officers uh, oftentimes uh, in, the, in the heat of, of the moment and, and obviously when dealing with something as emotional as having witnessed their fellow officer being pretty savagely beaten uh, are going to forget the details of the realities that we live in. Having said all of that, our officers cannot afford to give in to emotion. Clear statement about that every time we can. Um, it's unfortunate that there are more video. Uh, there's not more video footage capturing our officers doing great things because that is the norm. That is what our department is about. But uh, we obviously also have to be very conscientious, very diligent when it comes to light that uh, our officers may be doing something that doesn't reflect our standards, and that we need to investigate in order to determine if there's any uh, culpability in this conduct. Thank you guys for coming. Can you reiterate when uh, officers obtained a copy of this video and where you went to go get a copy of it when you viewed it yesterday? The first question, I don't know, and it's going to be one of the priority uh, objects or, or focus uh, foci of the internal investigation section. I asked for the video from the detectives knowing that they had a case file on <coughs> these particular individuals yesterday afternoon right around the quarter to four. And the detective then provided it yes, to you? Yes, it was in the investigative case, case file, which uh, I believe has also been transmitted to the prosecuting attorney, and, uh, and that was perhaps one of the bases for the filing charge. And these are ACT detectives, or these narcotics detectives? No, this homicide and assault detectives. Homicide and assault yeah, detectives, detectives are the ones who had it up to, this, uh, up to yesterday. Well, I know they had a copy because it was part of the investigative case file. Thank you, guys.